Even old man Ukai said height is a weapon in and of itself. And so how are we going to deal with this? He's interested to see how Karasuno does it. But one thing we can do is fly. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with another episode of Haikyuu, Season 2, Episode 13, I believe we are on right now. Um, last episode, we had the fantastic match between Ogi, Minami, and Tawada, and Aki, and all that. Awesome, awesome match, and it got me in my feels the entire time. Loved it. We got inspiration to keep going, motivation, keep on fighting. Um, but then we saw this six foot seven beast of a unit of a first year at Kukugawa, who is, uh, I'm just curious how we're, I, I know we have to get past, like, I'm just curious as to how we get past this. You know, this is going to be an interesting two episodes I'm going to be watching here, I'm pretty sure. But remember guys, if you guys want early access and full length to this shows and any of the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Make sure to check out that links always down below. You actually, we, I did just enable the annual subscription as well. So if you want 15% off, I just want to let you guys know. But if you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really a thing, if you could just leave a like and a nice comment, that does more than enough support. Thank you. So just your view is enough, actually. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Let's hop into this. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials at Dapper Darius. Um, Haikyuu, episode 13, season two. Let's see what it's called. It is called uh, A Simple and Pure Strength. That has to be height, right? A Simple and Pure Strength. <laughs> Oh, so he's super, super new. He's pretty much ve only very strong due to his physical attributes. Yep. I'm saying, who the hell cares? 100%, we got this. Ooh, ooh. Episode 13, a simple and pure strength. Tsukushima, nice stuff! Mushi. Yakuzawa! Wow. He's just so tall. What do you do? That is a very simple and pure strength. But it's clear to tell he's the ace. Which, I just want to pause it real quick and say thank you so much, guys, for everyone who commented letting me know the positions and what specifically is an ace. I just assume the ace is the person who gets the most points, which is the ace is the person who, if you get into a sticky situation, if anything bad goes happen with the volley, He's the one you're sending it to. He's the one that you have your rely that you rely on to get the point no matter what. Like he's just like your backbone pretty much. So it makes sense why it's Asahi, but it also makes sense why it's uh, Hyakuzawa from them because no matter what they just send it to him, he's gonna he's gonna pull through. So it makes sense why he's so early on, but he's the ace. The midair fight. What's he doing? Oh, the faint. Oh no, we already have a faint counter. He's just so tall. The physical abilities and, and talents he was born with are just overwhelming. <laughs> the two meter guy. Yeah, I could see how he could pull a, a crowd. Hey, man. Shouts out to Anoya. <laughs> Yeah, and that's where the title comes from, Simple and Pure Strength. Oh, Ukai is a fucking mad genius. Why would it be doing that? Is it... I wonder. I'm curious. Yeah, this is gonna be hard. Oh, yep. It's just like... This is gonna be difficult. Yeah, only because of this guy. Without, They're literally playing around him. It's pretty much a one-man show. Yeah. And chance balls always go in their favor, because bam, what do you do? It's a good challenge. <laughs> exactly, we're going to have to do something about that, but what do we do? <laughs> This is his first official match. Wow. He is doing really well. That's true. You think about it. Even if it's a one-man team, a lot of other teams play around their best players, you know? Yeah. No, I, I agree. There's really nothing really wrong with that. 
you really want to also get better but being better yourselves to support him makes sense in my i've never met someone who because i've never like known i knew a lot of girls who played volleyball in high school but i didn't really know anyone who's on the boys volleyball team but i knew a lot of people who didn't really play basketball but joined the basketball team because they're tall which seems like this like he got maybe incentivized to join the team because he's so tall and it would just be such a like come on man we need you but he is still learning a lot of the basics, passing, receiving, because he's only been playing for six months, which to put, in, put, to put it into perspective for myself to process, like, yeah, we only see, I only feel like we've been watching uh, Hinata play volleyball for, what, 30 episodes, 40 episodes, something like that. But uh, he's been playing since junior high, you know, with his boys. You know, they've been playing, like, I'm sure they started super young. I mean, remember Kenma started super young with Kuro. Like, a lot of these people started super young. Tsukushima with his brother and Yamaguchi, super young. Six months, and he's doing this well in his first official match. It really is a simple and pure strength. And it, it is crazy. It is crazy. It is. Wow. Give us some Nishinoya advice. Come on. What have you noticed? Oh, they're not going to tell us. This is like Death Note. Now they're going to have some sort of crazy play. Yep, he can tell based off his basics. Yep, exactly like Leo. True, true. Yep, but that alone is far beyond it. Yeah, exactly. Let's abandon the straights. Everyone go to receiving the cross or what? Are, yep. Focus full on receive and then chance and then we can go Oh with the feint on top of that gives him just that extra the diagonal making him jump. Yeah, nah, that was the little that's the strats right there I like that. I like that. I like that Ooh. That's me he not to near the same Good receive Dash away. Focus on the ball. Which is gonna fuck him. With the new quick, that's gonna make you lose. Right? Where'd the ball go? <laughs> I didn't even see it. I blinked and I lost it. So I don't I, I don't blame him. Oh. They're super quick! <laughs> That's crazy. He's getting... Right? It's a mix of strategy plus his super quick bounces, man. That man is nuts. But he's getting humbled very hard right now, and he needs it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. He would want to make that. Yeah, yeah. That's his number one in his arsenal, yo. My boy Sugashima, and then with the signature camera stop spin with the ass. That's so cool. What is this? Zero tempo? <laughs> The no tempo, a minus down negative tempo, holy shit. Oh lord, that's crazy. I love how they are using like the tempos thing so much. Like it's such a, like an actually active thing in, in the game, you know? Yeah, they're a different breed though. They're just built different. They're gonna go more on the offensive, play to their own strengths. It's a smart play. Good try, Nishinoya. Hey, Yakuza was passionate. I like it, though. I got a point, so we'll get two. Hell yeah. Smart. The combos is definitely another counter to this. Yeah. There, he was talking about, hey, is speed the only way to counter height? No. Also, combos, synchronized attacks, temp, you know. But that's like an advanced level move. The, they're liking his determination. But he's only this determined because he's never felt so humbled by somebody so small before. He's flabbergasted at this right now. I love this back and forth. 
You love to see it, man. I love the drive. I like I like that pure and simple. It's literally it's his number one drive, number one goal to smash it to the ground. Hold it, hold it. Wall doesn't work. What are we gonna do? We we'll use a plate. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, good save, Aussie. The fly. He's flying, boys. He's flying. Oh, yes. Which a lot of you guys pointed out that I mistook what happened when he did that uh, to Sukashi or uh, to Liev last time. No, I was out, so that's us. That's what it's supposed to do. That's that's what you guys called me out on. It touches him, and then it goes out, so that's us. That's, you know, and I'm like, oh, no, because I keep assuming, you know, it's, it's brilliant. It really is. Heck no. It was definitely planned. That really is the victory in the entire prelims. It's crazy to think about. Yeah. He really got humbled. But it only gives him more drive to be better. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Next year when he can improve. <laughs> this sets that's actually a cool setup. He might be dope. That's cool. I like that. That's one of the new competition guys that they introduced a couple episodes ago. Oh yeah, they would have not had this at all. Ooh, Hinata, knight in shining armor. He's so nervous. He did not want to do that. Wow. Wow. That's a good way to make a first impression. Good way to make a first impression. <laughs> yeah, don't talk to our manager. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they made it to semis. Oh, wow. They made it to semis. Oh. I'm saying, bro. Her beauty is intoxicating. She said your lunch wrap is cute. That's adorable. Yeah, give the typical look. What's up, punk? What's up? Oh, Daichi's... Daichi's really the best captain. Well, I'll be honest. I kind of assumed the two-meter Kukugawa match was, was going to be two episodes, but that was a, a very good episode on how we beat him, and I loved the character development. Like, again, from another character we just met... Like him thinking, yeah, you know, like I'm not the best right now, but it's simple, you know, like with my height plus I should be able to be dominating, you know, but he realizes it's not simple. There are other ways to win. It's way more complicated than he thought. So he not only got humbled, but he also got motivated, which I love. Like I've said multiple times in other animes that I've watched, I love when our characters motivate other characters to be better, you know? Like, Deku does that a lot in My Hero. I love that. He drives people to be to constantly better themselves. So that's like the ultimate form of a compliment, in my opinion. If someone wants to improve their life based off the actions that you do in your life, you know? It's crazy. So I think Hinata is a good dude. I'm glad he saved Kyoko from... The guy who but he made it to semis that's a pretty that's a pretty big accomplishment um i wonder who we got knocked out by so far everyone who we know has been knocked out by shiro torizawa they're the pretty unstoppable force cannot wait to see them that was uh, I, I really like Hikuz uh hyakuzawa i need to go back and eventually write down more of their names because i can almost guarantee we're gonna see kukugawa again i love how they set up these teams we're like we're gonna have like 74 rival teams at one point and we're gonna be able to play against any of them and i'm gonna be hyped that's so cool we can play against ogi minami uh alba josai date kogio fucking kukugawa uh fucking nekoma shiratorizawa there's so many teams that i'd be like let's do it i'm down you know like these are fantastic episodes what's the next one called uh still growing curious about that curious um yeah i'm glad i love the the dealing with the tempo and how 
trying to fit their crazy quick attack into our predetermined like set one two three tempos and it's like nah they got a thing of their own you're not gonna be able to find out with anything else but it's a minus tempo that's crazy crazy um but yeah fantastic episode remember if you guys want early access watch the next episode ahead of time check out that patreon down below thank you guys so much i'm gonna hop into this next one peace out you guys Thank <laughs> you.